Welcome. My name is Błażej Kotełko. And my name is Monika Auzia. And we together work at the Microsoft Development Center in Copenhagen, working on Business Central and integration between Business Central and Power Platform. And today, specifically, we will be talking about our new feature uh, in our integration with Power Automate, a feature that allows you to build flows using Copilot. I will talk about Power Platform and AI feature, and of course, our integration with Power Automate and how you can now use the new uh, capability to create flows. So let's dive into this, is, into this feature. Power Platform already, as you know, consists of different tools allowing you to build um, experiences without development, using local development tools, as they call it. And it is already infused with AI. Actually, Power Platform already started uh, adding features related to AI uh, in 2019. We have multiple different features right now in Power Platform and multiple integrations that exist uh, to date. And of course, the, the, the product that we'll be looking at in this session is Power Automate, allowing you to build flows, build automations. This tool is already quite nicely integrated with Business Central and allows you to build approval flows, automated flows, and custom actions. We have separate recording in this event that talks about improvements that we made in this particular area, uh, in this, this wave. So please tune into that, into that recording. When we're talking to partners and our customers about how they use Business Central and Power Automate, we keep hearing about some challenges. Uh, first of all, creators are offered a, a list of templates. And as we know, we have plenty of those. Isn't that correct, Monica? Yes, we have more than 70 templates for Business Central. So we have a lot, but still it is not enough. It covers some scenarios, but not everything. And of course, as an alternative, you can start from scratch. You can build your flow. But uh, it might be challenging. You don't know what, where you, where you are looking, uh, what you are looking for. And especially if you are connecting Business Central to different other systems, you want to send a notification to Teams, send an email, uh, save something on SharePoint, uh, act when someone added a new line to an Excel file. It is all perfectly possible and easy to do in Power Automate, but you have to know where to start. So this new feature is allowing you to add a new flow using just natural language. Imagine creating a flow with Copilot in Power Automate built directly inside Business Central. Let's uh, talk about how it works. Monica, can you explain what is needed in order to create that flow? Yes, this is a very simple process. So now we have a new option under the Power Automate group that allows you to create flow using Copilot in Power Automate. So the way it starts is that the user starts by describing what is that what they want to automate. Once they have described in a natural language, let's say for example, they want to automate that whenever a item is created in Business Central, you also create a new item in a SharePoint list. Then this input is given to the Power Automate and then Power Automate suggests the flow steps that are needed to create this automation. Once Power Automate suggests the flow steps, so when a record is created, add an item in SharePoint, then the user can actually go ahead and fill the necessary parameters that are needed and complete the flow. So it's such a simple three-step process. Super, thanks a lot, Monica. And of course, we have video showing you how it is done. The best way is to see it in action. Can yes. we see a demo? Of course we can. So let's just go to the Automate menu. And now we have a new action that allows you to create flows using Copilot. Let's see how it looks like. So here you have an option to describe what you want to automate. And you also have the examples. But let's just go ahead and start typing the scenario. So in this case, I want to say when a new product is added in Business Central, create a new item in the SharePoint list. Then the Power Automate is suggesting the steps to do this flow. Let's go ahead and click Next. And now it recognizes all the connections that we need to run this flow. So of course for the Business Central and for SharePoint. 
and the steps are suggested. So let's just go ahead and finish the flow. So then we just go ahead and fill the parameters that are missing. So we'll select, for example, the marketing site and the products list where we want to add an item whenever a new item is added in Business Central and we'll give a title and then we'll create flow. As you can see, the workflow has been added successfully. Let's see how the flow looks in Power Automate. So this is the flow that has been created using Copilot in Power Automate. And as you can see, the flow has the steps that were suggested and all the parameters that were filled and the flow works fine. We also have the Copilot chat so that you can use to add more things in this flow if needed. And if you want, you can also edit advanced parameters which were not filled or not required while creating the flow from Copilot. So that's how easy it was to create a flow using Copilot. Thank you, Monica. We can't wait to see what you guys will build with this feature when it is available for you later in this wave. So what, what is important, this feature is coming as preview later in this wave, later in 2024. It will be available for, uh, or initially available for Business Central uh, set as English as a language and for Power Automate environments that are based in the USA. But later on, of course, this will change. We will be adding this feature or making it available uh, in other regions as well. And of course, as always, in this event, you have multiple other recordings that are relevant. We have an, a fantastic recording about integration with Power Platforms that we actually uh, did together. Uh, we have also a, a, a session about integration with Dataverse that talks about uh, in, uh, the Dataverse virtual tables, also important for Power Platform. And we also have a session that talks about changes in documentation and more stuff around, um, around integration with, with third-party systems. As always, please go to our resources, aka.ms slash bcall, to find all the links to different, uh, different tools and uh, setups that you need to cooperate with us. Uh, send us uh, ideas using BC Ideas, uh, work and talk to us using Yammer. Join our open, uh, open office hour sessions uh, every now and then. We're doing that for Power Platform as well. And of course, if you are joining us at Directions, uh, we will be able to talk, to talk in person. Thank you very much. That uh, was it uh, for today. Thank you very much.